Hello, I'm the Void Doctor and I'm back with my Let's Play Master of Orion 3 English Edition. Well, obviously English, because if I would talk German, most of you would most likely not understand a single word. So we had founded our little crystal empire, made up of intelligent crystals, the silicoid, and we had sent out our first colony ships, our first uh, scouts and well that's that was it more or less let's take a look uh, yes still positive we're losing about 200 AE and but our account is still positive in the end it's all well we are still <laughs> pretty much at the beginning so let's look at our worlds. <laughs> that is you know, a pick that gets resetted every time you load up a new game. But well, yeah, let's sort it with best industry f uh, first. And yes, that we are still in the stage we will have to wait and research and explore and send out colony ships. Well, uh, not much to do in this round. Let's just go on with it. So, it's Galactic Cycle 33. The more mining on Mita 5. Ah, uh, yeah, Modular Grammar can can be researched now. Ah, uh, yes, for law text. After we research that, our bureaucratic uh, our bureaucratic costs will be 2% less than before because our new laws will all be modu modular grammar. You know, like, you can... Let's just say you have to be a linguist to understand how that exactly works. And I'm not sure my English is good enough to explain everything behind it. Short story, your laws are better now and your bureaucracy gener generates 2% less costs, that's all. So, nothing much. Better armor for our soldiers on the ground. Titan armor with nanotech fillerines, if I read that correctly. Well, and that was it. Still lots of ships underway. Well, uh, next round maybe I should talk a bit about the game. A uh, colony ship has landed. Well, as you know, Master of Orion 3 is the third part in a, a space tra strategy simulation for, uh, let's say, um, franchise. So, new system explored. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, yes. And, well, let's say it was received, well, rather badly. It was quite a disappointment from part 2. Uh, still one of the better space strategy games. It's an understatement, I know. But MO3, well, it was released full of bugs. And, well, it was completely different from part 2. Uh, if I recall correctly, part 2 was mostly you, you managing everything, and if you try to do everything by yourself in this game, then, we'll, well, you just go insane. For one thing, something like that will let the AI governors at least have a bit of an inkling what they are supposed to do. Without the, such a plan they will be even dumber than usual and they can be pretty dumb, believe me. So, well, it was the third part in the franchise and also the last part because of that. But as with this mod I'm using, well, just it had a it had and has its fans, and we are playing the mods, the unofficial patches and all that stuff, because, well, Vanilla MO3 is, as I already told you in another video, well, horrible. 
and if it goes on and on then yes then you will see how horrible it can be believe me even with the mod there are lots of silly stuff the AI can do and sometimes you just have to live with it well let's take a look Staubstrahltriebwerke it's just a better version of the old engines and well translated uh, into English that would mean something like well it's essential uh, some kind of rocket engine and miniaturized it well it's exactly what it says a better rocket engine so yes electronic countermeasures and with all the patches and this mod it actually works another point all this ECM and ECCM stuff because of a lot of bugs in vanilla MO3 I don't think it really works no I don't think so it is um, it does well it does something it takes away place for you could have used for better weapons inside your ships but it does not do anything automatic laser well well you can <laughs> the ships can fire several times but it also makes the weapon a bit larger and mass driver a bit smaller you can have more stuff simple as that we're still in the beginning and don't those of you who have already played MO3 or some of the other mods like the master mod or something like that don't think that level 7 or 12 is much because Ultima has lots and lots of levels the new stuff and the old stuff is spread out more about I think 90, 99 levels or something like that in vanilla 50 was the, was the last or something like that and uh, well you I think I already told you in vanilla you would ju simply just get flooded with new stuff and it was sometimes horrible yes I know vanilla MO3 horrible I say that something like that a lot but well it was like that as I played vanilla I didn't notice much of the stuff until later because well it was the first space strategy game I played ever and until well hordes of transport ships and t turned up or I get b got bored with obliterating every enemy with uh, let's uh, let's say let missile weapons that was it ah yes ah uh, something something like that <laughs> happens all the time <laughs> I keep forgetting Engl English words and all that stuff sorry about that so what is that those are enemies aren't they Imseis people living on gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn and so on but Imseis can have lots, lots and lots of population and they have well larger walls than us and they can get quite nasty if you allow allow it so and since our diplomacy is quite low I think yes you, you can look here up uh, the pics you made in the beginning if you keep forgetting after 500 rounds or something like that and well diplomacy yep I don't know if it's visible even on the big screen it's kind of weak all that grey stuff overlaying it but we took weak because we are pessimists we are te techno crazy crystals we are highly individuals and of course we are well normal for well, utopists and super production crystals and all that stuff which sounds really weird but we we are the crystal empire and we all like that so and now we'll have to go on next round ah yes the bad side of <laughs> the troublesome side of being uh, the leader of 
highly individual people, they are protest against our tech stuff sometimes. And this time they are protesting against against better FTL. Well, that's strange, but well, that's the random number generator. A little surprise for you sometimes. Sometimes your people keep making some uh, making weird assumption about the tech you try to uh, research. Uh, we need soldiers. Really need more of them. That's Our little crystals aren't the best. There is yes, that is reasonable. Soon we'll come at the point where we have to redesign our, our entire fleet. But if we keep well, keep ignoring that part until we have more stuff, we can actually stuff inside our ships then real golden. Because our AI enemies aren't that smart, they just keep building the first units. If they have good production then they have lots of ships, but thanks to the mod tech better tech can really may really make a difference. When we have the better ships then we can simply slaughter the enemy. Except of course for our friends the the hydrogen brothers here, the gas giant believers, those can can even as AI races be pretty good researchers and well, let's just say even with smart rocks, you're still essential uh, rocks, and that man, that's well, you know, stupid as a rock and as that. So we have to be careful not to fall behind. Well, look in the contact, we'll uh, can only make if there's some of our colonies nearby, and well, that's not happening. But now I have to look where all these ships are actually going. Well, let's look if there's not, not something better in the A nearby. Uh, red one, not good. Green is better. Let's take a look. Red, red, red. Ah. Well, all those minerals would be good, but we'll need a few techs, or it simply doesn't. Or it simply isn't a good idea. Too much colony ships needed for colonization, and all that bad stuff keeps happening if you try to colonize a world that's bad for you. Well, at least no Mali for uh, high G because our silicoids need high gravity. It's only here extreme gravity is a bit too much, but high is right enough. And an earth like world is something our little crystals will absolutely hate most of the time. Red one, well, we'll need all the minerals we can get, and it's right next to us, so we'll just keep on tracking. Yes, we need the rear. The, the best, the best, and dirty. But, well, you can't have all. Yes, yes, yes. Canopus too, well. Is there something underway to Canopus? Yep. Yes, we'll have a few. So... And you are? Well, next time I suppose. Next time. Ah, yes, more protests. Ah, I almost forgot the word I used <laughs> seconds ago. Malus. That means... That's actually German. It means uh, penalty. Uh, Mali penalties. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me, I think. But, well... Now we're researching a few of this other stuff I have renamed. <coughs> yeah, I know. Hard to grasp, but it's not only German, but although most of it is renamed, was renamed by me because, well, I fall more on the hard side of science fiction and, well, 
let's say the original to Star Trekky or Star Wars flavored for my taste and the translation well it took parts of German science fiction series inside and well let's just say I try to make it more original for my own taste. So we have now the electromagnetic electromagnetic shield which can only stop well not much but it's better than nothing. And we are researching the better HMI engine, the hypermagnet impulse engine. I think <laughs> if I try to explain what I uh, wrote up to explain how that works you would all get headaches so I well I'll skip that point. So a needle rifle for our infantry needle well crystalline needles in this case still good still good well nothing more to do until our we have new worlds Ah, uh, free. That's bad. We need as much walls as possible, simply because silicoids. I'll just say they're not well. Their population growth is low, low, and we'll need walls to plan, and we'll need them as fast as possible. Well, but tough luck. Oh, more protests. Well, I could say it's against their religion or something, but we'll <laughs> sadly our population is atheistic in nature. So, well, I guess they're just annoyed. That's the pessimist part, I guess. Play more, too. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, why not? And more armies. Infantry units. Thanks to this mod, the AI will also try to build every... Uh, ground troop unit 10 times each to make sure that if you forget to build your ground troops sooner or later you will have more than you actually need instead of just a bunch of stuff that is well looks if it would be nice but doesn't isn't enough never well we start with recruits if you wait long enough gain enough experience, become trained, then experienced. <laughs> yes. But well, you can have still veterans, guards and elites, but to see those three parts you'll need lots and lots of fights, ground invasions and the survivors. Well, you should just call them back or your veterans will just stand around on a newly conquered planet. Stuff like that is something you have to know in advance. Black hole, neutron star, we'll s have to avoid those for a long, long time. And this was a new round. Let's go on. Ah, a new star lane. That's something you also new added. Not all star lanes are actually used. Uh, it works like that. Let me think. If you start a new game, several. Ah, uh, yes, why not? Uh, who was I? Ah, uh, yes. Several star lanes, uh, all star lanes are created if you start up a new game, but not all of them are used. And with the mod, there's this nice little feature re implemented that makes randomly a new star lane which means one of the unused ones is suddenly used and appears playable. I took something like 5 or 10 percent because if you take a higher option with breaks patcher then you will keep getting flooded with new star lines and well it's b it's can be pretty ridiculous. So our deep space fighters can now be researched. We are had interceptors somewhere here. Let me look. System ships, life, colonization. Ah, yes, here. They are Abfangjäger, the interceptor. And now we have the Raumjäger, the deep space fighter. 
or Deep Space Superiority Fighter, but that's a bit long. So, sooner or later we'll use carriers. Now we have our... Uh, what was it again? The uh, English word? Uh, spinal mount. Yes, spinal mount. Soon we'll have it. Then our ships can have it too, and then we we'll can start building a few ships to make sure you get don't get surprised. Let's take a look. Uh, no, 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 no. Lots of colony task forces on the way. Well, scouts also on the way. Our next little ship will. Oh no, they'll fly there and there. Um, is there actually a star line we can use with the new ship? Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, to prevent more of those ships keep being bound or built, we'll just erase all of them. So, and in a few rounds later, we'll keep redesigning our fleet. And now, ah yes, electronic counter countermeasures are finished. It's well, literally, uh, literally the opposite of ECM. ECM makes your enemies shoot bad, and ECCM prevents that or something like that. Yes, exactly. ECM uh, tangles with. Uh, well, I think I need a refresher. Bad memory and all that. Uh, ECM, ECM. Ah, wrong direction. Here. Ah, yes. It makes short version that makes enemy ships shoot worse, or your ships if the enemy takes ECM inside. And ECM, well, makes ECM worthless, but version 1 works against version 1 of the other side, but if you have the more modern version, you can keep make the other side useless, or to sound not completely ma completely like an insane warlord or something. If you have ECM one and your enemy uses ECCM one, then both are essentially useless. But since ECM actually works, if you aren't prepared, then you will keep shooting empty space instead of enemy ships. Well, your fleets will do, because you can't do much even if you keep per to personally directing your fleets, but still a bit off. Well, let's keep on tracking. Now our first real-time battle. Maybe, maybe not. Let's take a look. Uh, no fight. No, they're ignoring us. All peaceful. Easy, still. Uh, better engine, F faster than light, ah yes, and positive and positive research overdraft means essentially we get a little bonus for either this or something else, for example, if suddenly something is researched faster than it actually shows then well then you get an overdraft and if your researchers uh, and if you have bad luck or researchers are idiots then overdrafts negative or positive aren't shown essentially i think it's like that if you have a negative overdraft then you keep getting those protest messages if it gets reported if not then well tough luck and positive is the other way around and you get Something like this here, red. You're suddenly finishing something that should have taken much longer. And in the mod it actually works like I explained it, because in vanilla sometimes there are these numbers, well in vanilla you can just ignore them. There is a bug fix if you use it, then will it work? I don't know if the patch uh, did fix it, but we'll just say you can't trust your user interface in this game, not without modding or f f patching or whatever. The vanilla version just laughs, laughs, and keeps appearing inside your nightmares. 
So sooner or later we can actually build shield generators because we have to invent them in this game instead of just keep getting them like some well in vanilla you already have all shield generators and oh lots of potential enemies, that's bad. But we'll keep on tracking. Well how say I ah, yes. 